Now, when we zoom out and look at these ARR growth rates over time, right, in Q2 of this year, the cohort of companies that we tracked had a median ARR growth rate of 20%. Now that is down from 23% in Q2 of last year and down from 25% in Q2 of 2023. That's a 20% decline in ARR growth rates over the last two years. Now that's a problem for the SaaS industry as a whole, right? Now, to be fair, we expect to see growth rates decline over time. Right? Because as these companies get larger, maintaining high growth rates off a larger base is harder to achieve. But what we don't want to see is a, you know, a decrease of 20% across a two-year period. Some of the big movers here, right, and we'll look at these from both a positive and negative side of the coin, right? There were some companies that delivered massive ARR growth rate increases year over year. Applovin was one of the big increases here. They went from 44% ARR growth in Q2 last year to 77% in Q2 this year. Palantir climbed to 48 from 27% last year. ZoomInfo off a low base, right? But they almost doubled their growth rate from three to five. And Box had a big increase as well from 3% ARR growth rate last year to 9% this year. From a downside perspective, there was also some big movers. So Atlassian's growth rate decreased from 34% down to 23. CrowdStrike went from 32 down to 20. Sentinel-1 went from 32 down to 22. And Zscaler went from 30 down to 21 year over year. All right, so what this shows us is that even for some of the best companies, right, and you'd put companies like Atlassian and CrowdStrike in that bucket, it's very hard to maintain ARR growth rates in this environment.